Coming up, we're going to be talking about a brand new short called The Shepherd Coming to Disney Plus, the success of the finale of Ahsoka, and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So yesterday, Disney announced that there's going to be a brand new short called The Shepherd, which is going to be coming to Disney Plus on the 1st of December. Pretty sure it's going to be a global thing. The film is set on Christmas Eve in 1957 and is about a young RAF pilot's journey home, which takes a dramatic turn when a mysterious airman appears. This brand new short stars Ben Radcliffe and also stars John Travolta. Now, we did get a very, very small little clip trailer that got put out on social media. Didn't get released everywhere, so it's kind of in the little square box thing. Um, there wasn't really even a press release. I don't know quite if there's going to be some more information coming out on this. It looks like the little bit of information I was able to get from it is that they kind of filmed it kind of in a version of the volume. A lot of it was done like that rather than being on set. A lot of virtual uh, studios and stuff. So that's pretty much about the only information I could find on it. The fact that it's only a short film, I think it's definitely interesting. I think kind of tying it obviously in with um, Christmas and everything like that. I mean, it sounds like it could be very interesting. Definitely worth going to be giving it go. In fact, it's got John DeVoter in there as well. I mean, you know, why not check it out? But let us know. Are you excited about The Shepherd? I didn't know a single thing about this one. This is it's always kind of cool when you get someone like this comes along that you were completely unaware of. But yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below. So last week, Disney released the season finale of Ahsoka on Disney Plus around the world. I really enjoyed it, but it was a little bit decisive in terms of some people liked it, some people didn't. But now we've got a little bit of information from Samba TV, who have reported that 863,000 US homes Watch the finale over the six days after it was released. So this is obviously slightly down from the 1.2 million people that watched the uh, premiere of the season. And obviously that is very different from the official numbers that Disney put out, which was about 14 million people globally. Disney has not put out the full finale details. They tend to not to do that unless things are really, really good. But I think it's definitely showing that the finale was not kind of as watched as many people would have liked. Um, we're definitely seeing in general, like, um, Shows are just not getting watched as much. Now, obviously, there's a lot of talk about, you know, Marvel and Star Wars being franchise fatigue and people not liking the series and not as many people being interested in all the rest of it. But actually, when you look at comparisons to other big shows that are around right now, including One Piece, Virgin River, um, even um, Secret Ops, the Lioness show, they're all around that same number, sort of 1.2 to, um, you know, under. And I think this is this kind of thing of there's not as many people watching streaming as maybe we would expect to right now. Um, you know, with people going back to work and stuff after the pandemic, you know, I think you can definitely not compare, it's not even fair to compare um, Marvel and Star Wars shows to what was happening during the pandemic. You kind of look at what else is going on right now. Now, it's definitely not good to see Ahsoka's numbers so low, especially considering the price of it. And I do think Disney does need to sort of slow down what it's doing and do a lot less of this. That's definitely something I think they need to do. But it also shows, you know, they, they've got to rework what they're doing. The show is not hitting everywhere. It's a little bit niche. I mean, I'm like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's some things I might have done a little bit differently, but overall... I thought it was a really good series. I enjoyed it much more than the late season of The Mandalorian. I enjoyed it much more than Kenobi. I thought it was really good. But, unfortunately, it just doesn't look like the numbers are that um, big for the finale. Again, Disney hasn't put out official numbers. We'll get the Nielsen numbers um, in a few weeks' time. They're always a little bit behind. But, yeah, on the surface, number isn't great. But when you compare it to some of the other shows that are around right now, it's kind of on par with some of the big shows even on Netflix and stuff. So... Very, very weird in terms of viewership numbers now. We're definitely so far away from the days of having, you know, 10, 20 million people watching a show when it was all on uh, broadcast television. Very different nowadays. But yeah, so it's kind of one of those things. Disappointing that it didn't get us as well. But when you look at the other ones, it's maybe not quite as bad as maybe you would expect. But let us know. What did you think of the finale of Ahsoka? And if you watched it, love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Moving on from there, let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. So on Disney Plus around the world and on Hulu in the US and on Star Plus in Latin America, we've got a new episode from the fourth season of The Kardashians. So if you enjoy that series, you want to check that one out. Um, I have checked out the episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, just seeing, it was kind of interesting seeing what's going on like, with the business side of things with um, Chloe and their shops that they're trying to open and the issues they were having. 
Also some interesting stuff with Kim and like her uh, like fashion work and stuff that she's been doing. But, and also maybe more importantly, you know, some of the issues that are going on right now with Chloe's with her family and stuff. But overall, I thought it was a good episode, but are you gonna check it out? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And Trey who says, I have a question. When will the password share and crackdown start in the United States? So obviously um, over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of talk about password sharing crackdown on Disney Plus. Um, those of us like in the UK and in Canada and stuff, we are getting emails basically informing us that, you know, the price is going to be going up with the introduction of new tier and that there's a new policy in there about sharing passwords between accounts and stuff. So we've all got to agree to it and carry on kind of thing. Um, Bob Iger has spoken about the fact that they're going to be introducing um, sort of technology and stuff that they they've kind of haven't really been using to kind of start cracking down on this. Don't know yet when this is going to start. I, I would imagine they're going to start rolling out slowly. I don't think they're going to go all in and just be like bang, bang, bang. I think the big one is going to be this issue of concurrent streams. So what this is, is if you're on the premium tier, you're going to have four. If you're on the standard tier, you're going to have two. And if you're on the ad tier with, well, basically, and that is called standard with ads internationally, it's also two. They're also doing similar on um, Hotstar and stuff. So this basically means how many people can watch at any given time. And up till now, they've not really been enforcing this. So if you've got... Um, four or five of you all using the account and you're all watching Disney Plus at the same time, it's gonna start flagging up going, hey, there's too many of you watching at the same time. They can start using like prompts and stuff, maybe prompting you to put your password in it, maybe if they're seeing that you're in a location continuously, because I think that's the key thing. You know, like if I take my phone and I go and watch this in a hotel room or I'm at my mum's or something like that, or I'm at the hospital and I watch something on this, this device is kind of linked to my account in the same way that it has been used at my account. It is my primary device. But if I suddenly logged, you know, if you're then like, you know, say like you've got your mum logged in on a television um, miles away, it's going to start, they, you know, they, the system is going to work out that that's a continuous thing and that's not in the same IP address. So that's the, that's the kind of thing. And also they would know like a tablet or a phone are very different to say that like a smart TV or something like that. So I think they are going to start cracking down on it slowly. I can't imagine Disney are going to go quite in as heavy as Netflix. I mean, a lot of like, you know, obviously scare tactics going on with you know they, they can kick you off well a lot of this is going to be in the terms and conditions because they got to put it in there you know terms and conditions are there for them to do what they need to they're going to have the term that you know the fact that they, oh we can push you off or get rid of your account if you abuse it well that would make sense because say for example you could have one person and they've sold on their account to 25 other people and therefore you've got 26 people using the Disney Plus account in different locations. That is why these terms and conditions are there because of these loopholes and people that do. So that's part of it and also some of it as well is just to kind of get people to maybe think about the idea of subscribing. I think like internationally like here in the UK and in Canada when they introduce the new um, ad supported tier it's going to be pretty low price like here in the UK it's going to be like $4.99 a month so it's really really cheap so I think that's going to be a way that they can get people onto the ad tier at the same time but yeah I think in terms of the US we don't know when it's going to start or when they're going to do it but um, I don't know I think we're probably just going to start them like seeing them activating some of the rules that they've already got in place I don't think they're going to, like, going to go down the same line as what we saw with Netflix quite as aggressive to begin with. I would imagine if, if I was Disney, I'd, I'd be like, you don't want any more bad publicity. Just start like in using the rules that you've got and that concurrent rule system and maybe just even prompting you to put your password in or putting your pin number in because that will start getting, you know, like if, like if you're like say your mum or your, your brother or something like that was using your account and they kept getting prompted for the pin code or an email because they're not at your prime location that's going to start getting annoying and it's you know you can see why they'd be doing it because if I was say for example I say I've gone on holiday and I'm sitting down and I'm going to be watching a show and it comes up saying you're not in your normal location please put in a pin code well I can do that and I'm on holiday and then it remembers it for a week but if you're still there maybe like a month later, six weeks later, three months later, it might flag up and go, look, you're not it where at your home location. So I, I wouldn't worry too much about it, you know, if you're going on holiday or anything like that, or if, you know, you've got different people in different households. But obviously, if you're sharing your account with lots of different people with different households, things are going to ultimately change. But they're all going to be doing this. This is not just Disney. They're all doing it because they want you essentially on the ad uh, supported tier because that's where they make the real money but hopefully we get clarification on that pretty soon but I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments below love to, um, remember to go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and I shall see you guys soon later